We are here with the beautiful uh, Ashanti. I call her Bonbon. Bon. I don't. I think that was your your email address was Bonbon. Bon. What That's was that? Email. Yeah, talking to the mic. What <laughs> what is that? A nickname, Bonbon? Bon? Yeah, Bonbon bon has been a nickname for a long time. Who, who started that nickname? It's crazy because my aunt calls me Shiny Bonnie. Okay. And when All the Murder Inc. used to be around my family, they kind of shortened it to. They heard her calling me Bonnie, so Ja kind of shortened it to. Bon Bon. And then mm-hmm. it was, you know, we did the whole Bonnie and Clyde, so it just was Bon Bon. Bon Bon, I like it. <laughs> I like it. So, Ja Rule, that's a great segue. You spoke to him since he's been on House Arrest? Yes, I have. I spoke to him the other day, and I'm super, super excited for him. Is you he know? in good spirits? He is. He is in great spirits. Diesel, though, right? I saw oh, him my gosh. Photo. I told him. I was like, what was you doing in there? There's nothing to do. Three <laughs> hots and a collar. You know and, what I mean? And, Let's hit these weights. Right, and, and mashed potatoes or something. It. <laughs> did he sound like starch. he was ready to get, like, back into music? Or 100%. He just no, 100%. He has a studio downstairs in the house. That's Yo. where he's going to be all the time. He's super excited about Are the music. Are y'all doing the writing thing together again? Because I know you guys used to do some collab writing. He Absolutely. Would he would do things. Are Absolutely. Y'all... I mean, hopefully we get it all popping. You know, there's no Wait denying our chemistry. Wait so. a minute. So we might get an Ashanti Ja Rule collab. Hey, hey, hey. We might. We might. But it hasn't been recorded yet. Not yet. Not yet. I okay. mean, he has to focus on his stuff right now. You know, I got to focus on now mine, did, but we should, you know. I did catch up with Chris and Irvin. They were saying that he's going to start doing some media in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. And he wants to have music when he starts to go to media. Did when he he's off a of house arrest. When he's off a yeah. house That's arrest. the thing, because I think it's like end of June-ish that he's able to Did he to play like, you anything? No. It wasn't no that long of a phone call, but I'm okay. sure I'll hear something soon. Right. Well, I did see an Instagram post where Nuri went to go visit him, so... Maybe, I guess people have to go to something. him to start recording. Right, right, definitely. It was definitely. probably on that Queens thing over mm-hmm. there, Nori and Ja. Mm-hmm. So your music, what are we doing? We got an album coming out, yes. we got a new single. Album is coming July 30th, Braveheart. Super excited. I did hear one of the songs. It sounds a little top 40-ish. It's, it's definitely, pop? it's definitely top 40-ish. And that's what we were trying to do with the platform that we have with Army Wives. It okay. just makes perfect sense because mm-hmm. that's that audience. You know what I mean? So it's like... With a record, everybody that I play that record for is like, yo, it's a big record. We love this record. But obviously we have to have and find the right home for it to give it what it needs. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I got the Army Wives um, series, I was like, oh, we got to infiltrate and get it in there. You know, it made a lot of sense. Wait, Army Wives is a reality show? No. It's scripted. Come on, Ebro. I don't fucking know. I don't watch none of this shit. I'm I'm Game of Thrones, ESPN. (laughs) That's all I got. That's all I got. So what's Army Wives? What is it? What is it? Army Wives is a scripted show. It's a drama and it's on Lifetime. It's like the number one show on Lifetime. It's basically portraying real life Army Wives. We have men in the Army. They have wives at home. You know, they're living on the base. this is when the men go away to fight and then the women need some some sex on the Side and they need Come on. cheating. Actually, a single mom. Well, not a single mom. Your man is in the army, but right. you are a mom on the show. I'm a mom, married, three kids. My husband is in Afghanistan, and I'm holding down the fort. You know, it's three. I'm part of the new regime. There are three new wives. There are three of the veteran wives that have been there for the past seasons. And you know, it's we had to kind of make our way in because we're the new, young, fresh, hot wives, mm-hmm. and we have to make friends with everyone and you know be accepted and things like that. But the character is amazing you know with she, the character being that you do have three children did you ever look at yourself like a shot and go am i ready, ready for motherhood i don't know <laughs> you and nelly never talked about oh, having never. kids <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I mean, me and Nelly, we talked about a lot of things. You had to talk about having kids. We talked about a whole lot. He has kids. He has great kids. Right. His yeah, niece, his you, nephew. Your- <laughs> I don't have any. I mean, what do you know? But y'all talked about it. We talked about a lot so much. And do you, are you guys still friends now? You and yeah, Nelly? we're cool. I spoke to him with it yesterday, the other day. We're good. Oh, we're y'all, cool. y'all cool. Because cool. you know how that goes. You break up, but we still cool. What do you mean? What was there to break up? I don't understand. I mean. Wait, what? Y'all were, were you trying to act like y'all wasn't <laughs> in a relationship? That's what you what? about to try to run that? Oh, You ain't about to try to run bro. that right now. You're not doing that. That's not allowed. We're not going to play the game. Were Ashanti and Nelly ever really in? We're not playing that game. I don't understand what you mean. You understand exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad that you guys are still friends, which means that you probably still see each other sometimes. Don't try to insinuate that. But <laughs> Man, mom can't Look, you're lucky you these out. cameras is mom on. Mom can't bail you out of this. <laughs> lucky one. these cameras is on. Right. Exactly. I, just know, I know how relationships are. You're together for a long time because you guys were together five years. It was a long time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why did you stop in your sentence? Because I'm looking for confirmation. Was it five years? I don't know what you mean. We were. I'm speaking. We English. were great and are great. We're good friends. We but were great no friends. But you're no longer good together. In a I'm here in New York. I don't know where he is. I'm here with you. <laughs> this motherfucker is still trying to act like people don't know that they was together. You still never should friend. love me. Oh, oh God. You never should. I'm going to tell you something, though. It will help you in this album and everything that you're doing with the media to, to talk about the relationship, though, because I'm sure there's women who I mean, can it's relate. very obvious the song came from a very sincere place. Right. You know, a lot of people are asking, oh, what is that about? Who is that about? Is that something? You know, it came from a very sincere place. I think a lot of people have been in a situation where they've been betrayed, you mm. know, or lied to or taken advantage of. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. And Nelly, you, you cheated, know. fabs? <laughs> I mean, we all do it, my nigga. Not all, all men cheat. Listen. Oh, my God. When I tell you, if we don't actually go through with it, we did some sexting and some <laughs> online something. We did some Facebook and we did something. Okay. We may not have actually touched flesh, but we was thinking about something. doing it. We okay. was window shopping. The intention shopping. was there. Yes. The intent yes. was there. No, no, no. Not the intent. Just to... Listen, here's the thing with dudes. It's fun to do bad things. And all dudes, <laughs> even women, like to see how much we might be able to get away with. Or, you know, that's just part of life. Everybody does a, commits a little crime. You know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. ran a red light today. Or, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean? You talked on your cell phone when you wasn't supposed to, even though, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. So, Nelly did some of that. I mean, listen. Things happen. You know, people get hurt. People have resentment. People carry old things with them. You know, it, things just happen in real life. You go through things. I go. You go through things. It's about you now. Don't try to what turn do you mean? it on. I, I mean, I'm, it's, it's a little bit of both. It's a, <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit generic. Do I go through things? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, it's just he has to do what he has to do right now. And I have to do what I have to do right now. Because sometimes, you know, you can distract each other when you're in soul. And, you know, when it's all like this, it's like... Well, Mer, she's trying to get you to hold that mic. All right, so but for what it's worth, I, I liked you guys together as a couple. Whether you want to talk about it or not, I like them together. I as think a everybody enjoyed I them together. I think together. everybody really, genuinely were happy for you guys, and probably <laughs> still want to see y'all figure out how to come back around. Because it's a, it's a look, man. People love love, as K. Fox. I love love. Says. You love love. I but, love love. But uh, when we were kind of off camera, we were talking about how you're gonna hit up Janet Jackson to see what yes, type of options Muhammad she may Akbar. have for you. So listen, I'm not mad at that. Look. Let me tell. Let me give the audience the backstory yes. though. Ashanti frequents Dubai. Very nice. To find her a light skinned bearded dude with oil money. Yes. With a with a Muslim name. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And a big bank account. Yes. <laughs> Look, y'all see this? Yo, don't what you do they need to do? Oh, fuck out of right, We need B's, not M's. Yes. We need, you know, a two, two point, you know. That oil. <laughs> oil money? That oil. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> this shit is out of control. Yeah, so you would never just date a regular UPS bus driving dude? Nelly used to be a UPS bus driving dude. <laughs> used to be. And you weren't dating him at the time. <laughs> um, Let me see. Would I date a UPS guy? I don't know. It has to be like a, a, a an attraction in every facet, though. I have to like you. I have to like what you're about, what you stand for, what you do, your personality. Like, And we have to be able to... I'm not going to be able to support you. So, you know, it has to be a common You're not going to be able to support them. Did y'all catch that? Means you guess none of mine. She's not going to be anybody's sugar mama. She works too hard. Right. Who's going to spoil her? Is she's going to be busy spoiling I think, them? Right. I think it's but good, though. But maybe he could spoil you in other ways I was just going to say, it's good to be spoiled in different ways because I can spoil somebody in a different way. You know, I want to be spoiled. I grew up by myself for a long time until my sister came. <laughs> oh, so. okay. There's that. So what would a guy... So these uh, these Mohammeds and, and, and Akbars and these sheikhs, these oil dudes, you show up in Dubai. Talk to us. Walk us through what happens when Ashanti shows I up mean, in Dubai. I mean, don't make it seem like that's the only reason I go to Dubai. I, I mean, love Dubai. The weather's amazing. Right. The food is amazing. Right. We went to um, in Abu Dhabi. I think mm. it was this Lebanon, this Lebanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. No, Lebanon with this Lebanese food. God, it's insane. I love to get in the beach. Who'd you go there with? What you mean? Was it a date? <laughs> Were you on a date? Like, was it just you, I your mom, and your to sister? Blow my stuff up. God. 
Did someone fly you out there to like of meet them? Of course they did. Oh my Listen, god! Let me tell you, K Fox goes through the same shit. She's first class on what's the I get airline? It. Uh, no, Emirates. You, Emirates. She's first class yeah. on Emirates. You've been first Emirates, class on of Emirates. Of course. With the bar upstairs. With the bar, the, the bed, the full, you know. On that 380. The 380's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. You get the sh- massage, you push the button, mm-hmm. and it's like. Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's like a little sweet. This is like the little sweet. The size yeah, of a little it's sweet. Like it's like this. So you're on a plane and you have this much space. In your own, in first class. Because right. you don't even see other people that are in Have you coach. ever been in coach on Emirates, K Fox? I. Went to look at it and then I went back upstairs <laughs> to the first class. <laughs> Yo, I knew it, it, it existed. Um, so Ashanti, um, any production on the album, anything that we should look for on the album from anyone that you collaborated with? <clears throat> um, I mean, I collaborated with a lot of people. I did some stuff with Cool and Dre, I did some stuff with Detail, he's super dope just recently. Um, Meek French, um, I think uh, Mansoor, who's amazing. He is out of L.A., young, new dude. Who else? Rico Love. Um, I played you that record. Yeah. The Perfect So mm-hmm. Far record. But I want you to tell the story. I don't want to, you know, yeah. I'm ruining it. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. I'm thinking of the records as, oh, L.T. Hutton. How can I forget L.T.? My Neezy from L.A. He's super talented. One of my favorite songs from you was, um, I think, it, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was produced by Seven Aurelius. We want the guitar, heavy on the guitar. Only you? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to collaborate with him again? I kind of like that you know vibe what? We that did, he gave um, you. We did, him and Irv came together, and Chink, to do the No One Greater song with French and Miki. Dope. Yeah, so it's kind of... So Irv is involved in the album? Not really. I wouldn't say that. But you played him stuff and got his feedback or nah. Mm-mm. Not at all. Mm-mm. Not at all. Um, ja Rule, you play anything for Ja since he's been home and no. not had time to do that? We, I mean, I, unless I go there or unless we Skype, we should Skype. Me See? and Ja's going to Skype. That's what I'll do. That's and I'll play happen. him some records. That's, That's what we should happen. do. Could I take hey, up top? I come with a couple <laughs> things. Every now and, then. and the album, once again, comes out when? July 30th, Braveheart, off of my label, Written Entertainment. And when can we see you on Army Wives? The premiere, not the premiere, the finale is going to be this Sunday. Um, what date is that? June 9th right. at 9 p.m. Lifetime. Ashanti. And my song is in the finale episode. It's like a montage. So it's available now on iTunes. Of course it's available now. I text you too. And I, you ain't, you I need got to tweet. It, but no, no, but see, no, no, the problem is the picture on the fucking single is you in your bra. It is not. <laughs> what? And I wasn't about, I was like. Stop it. It's not even just a bra. I, have I almost one, like, called Tina. I was like, It's like this lace. It has like Mom, a lace Mom, what are we doing? It's Tell like, her to put some clothes stop on. Stop it. It's not even, it's not no worse than it's a bathing suit. It's a bra. Suit. It's a lace bra that's very covered and it has like a lace shawl. Come on, son. That's like a Yo, bathing friend, suit. I'm not used to you being this grown. You were showing thigh on the couch. <laughs> you running off to Dubai to <laughs> do whatever you doing with. She's a grown woman. Hang out. Shop. Hang out. Have dinner. Have dinner. Party. You know? Fuck out of here. What kind of shoes you got? What is that? Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Love Giuseppe. Uh-oh, toe game. <laughs> fellas, toes. For you fellas that's into the toes. <laughs> toe game. Toe game. Thank you. No bunions. Look at my nails, though. My what? nails are cute. Nails are cute. cute. Let, me, let me feel your hand. Hands ain't rough. <laughs> you know, some of you girls got some rough-ass hands out there feeling like nigga, feeling like I'm holding hands with a nigga sometimes. <laughs> let me see your hand again. All right. Very good, very good. And then she uses, fellas, if your girl uses the glitter, what is that, like a it's glitter a bronzer. or bronzer or whatever that shit is, that shit gets on you. So, yeah, nah, you fucking up my shit for the rest of the got day. Got sparkles all over you. Got sparkles all over you. Looking like you was shit. at the strip club. Right. Uh-oh. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Ashanti, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Yay. You never should love me.